So one of the common um, topics in high school math and algebra one, algebra two, is this idea of complex numbers. And if you remember what a complex number is, a lot of people don't seem to like these things. I don't know why. Um, maybe it's the name complex number or imaginary number. It makes it sound unimportant. But you have this letter I, that's an imaginary term, and it's equal to the square root of negative one. And in real numbers, there is no square root of negative one. It doesn't exist in the real world, which is why we call it an imaginary number. Um, so just take that little idea, and we're going to set this guy over here. Now, I want to know what's the product. You guys remember what a product is? What's the product of these two terms right here? Well, what product means is multiply something together. So 3i plus 2 times 3i minus 2. Okay, that's the product. And let's use our uh, distribution techniques that we've learned to do this. So remember, first you multiply uh, the first term times the first term of each. This becomes 3i times 3i. Well, that's 9i squared. And then uh, we're going to take the outer terms. Uh, 3i times negative 2, that's going to be negative 6i. Then the inner terms right here, that's going to be positive 6i. And the last terms, positive 2 times negative 2, that comes out to be negative 4. So don't worry about what i is. Just treat it like a variable for the moment. We'll get to it in a bit. If you have negative 6i and positive 6i, those are going to cancel out. So you're going to get 9i squared minus 4. And now it's time to deal with that i squared. Well, if i equals negative 1, remember this? If i equals negative 1, then i squared equals negative 1 squared, or the square root of negative 1 squared. Well, the square root and the square cancel each other out, right? What's the square root of 9? Just as an example, square root of 9 times the square root of 9. Well, that's just 3 times 3, which is 9. Or in other words, those square root signs cancel each other out. Okay, that's what happens when you multiply square roots together. So, just like the square root of 9 times the square root of 9 is 9, that means the square root of negative 1 times the square root of negative 1 is negative 1. So, i squared is negative 1. That means this is 9 times negative 1 minus 4, which means negative 9 minus 4, which is negative 13. Okay, and there's my answer right there. So when you have complex numbers, just treat that i like an x until you have simplified it as much as you can, which for us was in this step right here. Once you get to that point, now you pull out this knowledge that i is the square root of negative 1 and i squared is negative 1, and you make those substitutions and see where it leads you.